In this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can get started with a glamping business for about a thousand bucks. Believe it or not, it is possible for you to start your own glamorous camping business for around a thousand dollars. If you don't believe me, stick around to the end and I will give you all of the resources that you need to get this going today. If it interests you, stick around. Hey there, my name is Kenny, and in 2020, I started a glamorous camping business out of my garage, scrappy, bootstrapped, laid off from COVID, and I built my business, and it is running and thriving today. I wanna share with you how you can get in on the ground level, bootstrap yourself, and uh, get your business up and running and starting make, start making some actual money so that you can either just make some side hustle income to pay off some debt, or build a full-time business around this. So uh, I'm gonna share with you how to do that right now. So the first thing I wanna share with you is that this glamping business model is not the traditional business model. Rather than you having to go and buy a bunch of property, the glamping business model that I'm gonna share with you how you can get started for a thousand bucks is actually what I'm calling a mobile glamping business. What this means is that rather than your customers and clients going to your campground, you are gonna bring the campground them. This is the type of business that I started in 2020 and it quickly got cr traction because one, everyone was stuck at home, but two, it was a novel idea. This business model transforms the traditional camping experience and it elevates it, makes it really comfortable, and it can kind of go anywhere. You can deliver your tents to backyards. You can deliver your tents to campgrounds. You can deliver them to venues like wedding venues, golf courses. You can deliver them to national parks and national forests. The options are really unlimited of where you can deliver your glamping experience. So we're going to focus on doing the mobile glamping business and we're going to do it for right about a thousand bucks. Keep on watching. I'm going to share with you all of the things that you need to do to get this going today. There are three main components to breaking this down so that you can really understand how it is that you're going to get started with this business for a relatively low investment. So there's three components. Those are inventory, insurance, and irresistibility. I'll break those down right now. So the first one and the biggest one, we're gonna spend a little bit more time on this one, is your inventory. What types of things do you need to have or purchase for your inventory to deliver this glamorous camping experience? From the first thing, the biggest investment you're likely gonna make in your inventory is gonna be your tent. I have tried a number of different tents and I have seen other companies use a number of different tents and I have come to the conclusion that the best and most cost-effective, high-quality glamping tent for a business, especially if you're just looking at getting in the door, is gonna be this one here on the screen. I have purchased this one and I have actually contacted the manufacturer myself and I am ordering these in bulk. Why? Because these are relatively low cost and the uh, quality is there. So it's a perfect mash between affordability and quality. I understand in my business that there are uh, it, these things are going to be rained on, they are going to be used and abused multiple times, and so uh, they're, the lifespan of a tent is only as good as it's taken care of, and in the weather and the increment, inclement weather that we put our tents up in, this is what I found to be the best price point of a tent. Yes, you can go much, much higher quality, and if you are doing really luxury events, yes, go there, but we're talking about cost, affordability, and the best quality for the buck. So this is the tent that I recommend uh, for you getting started with this. Next piece of your inventory is going to be your beds. You have two options for beds that I would recommend. One is gonna be straight up memory foam mattress. I linked it down below, it's here on the screen. This is a tri-fold memory foam bed. This is an easy way for you to transport a memory foam bed that's one, comfortable, and two, relatively lightweight and easy to bring around and deliver to various locations. There's also the the aspect of bed frames. These are optional. If you're gonna do your glamping experience and cater towards kids' parties, the mattress and the bed frames, they're not really even that necessary. So if you're gonna go memory foam option, this is the option that I recommend for you. If you're gonna go the air bed route, if you have a really small car or you're just not really wanting to put the expense of doing memory foam quite yet, I recommend an air bed. Uh, here's a link to one here below. And then there's also, you can get a, a simple memory foam topper so that you can communicate that this is a memory foam topped airbed. Sounds a lot better than just an air mattress. So those are your two options for 
uh, betting. Now we're almost already even at that thousand dollar mark, but I guarantee you that if you were to go uh, from here, you have the tent, you have the beds, you can buy a relatively low cost rug at your local Walmart. You can go to home home goods. You can go to um, if you have them at home is a great place to buy one or two rugs. This is not if you're buying in bulk. Don't do that. Again, we're going low cost, minimal investment. Go to just a local. Uh, you can even, you can even go to Home Depot and buy outdoor rugs. That way, they you know if they get rained on, wet, stepped on, dirty, they can be easily hosed, cleaned off. Go and just go to your local store and buy um, a rug. You can even look on Facebook Marketplace or uh, Craigslist for like a brand new rug that's just used that someone bought on you know and never used or heck they maybe they just bought it on one of those pallets. It's really popular now, and they're just trying to get rid of it. So get scrappy, get creative with your rugs. Next up is tables, decor, lighting, pillows. All of these things can be bought relatively low cost at Walmart, Target. You can buy linens at Walmart or Target for like 15 to $20. You don't need to spend a lot of money here. So for your initial investment, the tent, your beds, and then your decor, you can, you can do it secondhand which is one, super cozy, and two, uh, eclectic and fun and unique, as long as there's not like nails coming out of the tents or out of your uh, tables, you know, there's nothing like that's dangerous, um, but everything can be thrifted. And as long as it's clean and sanitary, you wipe everything down and, and clean it before you install it for your, your guests, the eclectic vibe of a kind of hodgepodge put together glamping tent is kind of cute. It's, it's, it's the appeal of this cozy caving experience. So don't feel bad and don't be afraid to get really creative, get really scrappy if you're trying to start this business for a low cost. So right there, you should be right around the 800, 900, maybe tipping into a thousand dollar mark. That covers all of your inventory. That's your tent, that's your beds, that is all your decor. You can get buy, go on Amazon and buy a string light set and, and, um, and purchase just a set of string lights and that'll just totally glamour you know or glam up that whole place so don't be afraid to get scrappy and be simple at the beginning of your business i went overboard at the beginning and i put too much stuff in there and i was creating way more work than what was necessary and people i found didn't even use half the things that we put in the tent so don't be afraid to get scrappy keep it simple but just make it uh, work for you and if your customers book with you after you have these basics they're going to likely put a deposit down I recommend putting a deposit down holds the date for them that's cash that you can possibly use so gotta be smart with the deposits in case they request a refund but that is if it's you know if you have a 14 day uh, no cancellation fee for that deposit well then you know that 14 days before that event that cash is yours if it's non cancelable that cash is yours to use so 14 days for the event you go to the thrift store you go to Amazon you go to at home you go to Walmart and you get the last-minute details that you might need for your glamping experience to kind of tie all those loose ends together next let's talk about insurance so inventory is covered tent beds decor right around that right around 800 900 maybe tipping into a thousand bucks now insurance insurance for general liability um, should be, you know, at the very beginning of a business, uh, it should be maybe a couple hundred bucks, a hundred bucks to 200 bucks. And that's per month. So you can, you can do it per on a month to month basis. And that's a hundred to $200 right there. And now you're right around a thousand dollars for starting your own glamping business. Now, the last thing that I didn't, that I make sure you need to cover in this category, it's not really insurance related, but it's just business related. And that's getting your LLC set up. You can do that for right around 50 to $150 and you can, depending on where you live, that's you know just a, a minimal expense. Super simple, you just go to the Secretary of State for your state, type in how to start a business in your state and then it'll directly you know bring you to the website that you need to go to. There are services that will do this for a bit more of a, of a fee and there's, you know, it's additional expense but we're still relatively low cost to get that going. There's a lot more to a business than that but again, we are going scrappy, simple, really relatively low expenses. So that should get you going. And now the last thing is irresistibility. What I mean by that is you just have to market the heck out of your business. 
You have to tell every single person about this business. Friends, family, friends of family, friends of family of their family. Like you have to go and you have to let every single person know what you are doing. You have to get loud about what it is you're doing. And you don't have to be obnoxious. You don't need to try to sell on everybody. But what you do need to know is that you need to make them aware of it. So once you have the tent, you can populate your Facebook page, your Instagram page, create a free business page uh, for your fate on Facebook and Instagram for your business, whatever, whatever, glamping, you know, outdoors, fancy outdoors, whatever you want to call your business. You got to get loud. You got to start promoting. If you need help with some photos, if you need help getting this going, please check the resources down below. They are there to help you and they are there are some of them that are free. There is an ebook, about 15 pages of an ebook that is free for you. It includes links to all the products uh, kind of in one nice little place. It talks about social media and insurance and some a little bit more details. If you want to learn more about this, that's free down below. That's the ebook. There's also a glamping business boot camp. It's kind of just a video course with me. It's free. It's not, it doesn't cost you anything. And included in that are photos that you can use and download copyright free from my business as a gift to you to help you get going uh, that you can download and use and actually start to promote. You can create Facebook ads and Instagram ads with these photos. So you don't even need to have a tent. You don't even need to have inventory to start promoting this as your business. Now, what I will say at the end here is that the resources that I give you from my business, those are free. Everything that is on my business website and is, if you get connected with me, those are the property of my business. So please don't use those. But the ones in the courses, those are free to you, for you to use. Please use them, access them. I hope this helps. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.